Hello, so this is just going to be a short video to document what I hope will be rather exciting. This is it. Look at this beauty. You can probably guess what this is now. Chatamo CCS adapter. So first we plug it into the Chatamo port on the vehicle. Then we plug in the CCS connector. You can see a little green light flashing there. Then I'm going to start the charge. I'm on this Instavolt unit. Yes, accept the pre-authorization fee. We that gets returned when we finish the charge. And then we select the CCS. Well, hey, how's we charging? There we go. We are charging on CCS. Fantastic. Wow. We're obviously at quite a high state of charge. So the charging rate is going to be very slow. So this, uh, the adapter, it well, doesn't affect the charging rate. It's still, that's still going to be limited by, by the vehicle, but it does allow us to charge um, using, using CCS. So, you know, is this essential? No, but will this be very useful? Yes, it will enable us to charge in more places. Well, hey, that was a successful first charge for the adapter. Uh, that was using an Instavolt station, the BYD uh, Instavolt units. Um, so yeah, very excited about that. Uh, I'm going to try another rapid charger now, just while, I, while I'm out and about. Okay, the next charging point I'm testing it on is this ABB unit by EV Point. Oh, hey, and it's charging. There we go, CCS. The van is flashing. And there we go. We are charging. So, I've done a bit more driving, so I've got a bit lower state of charge. So I should get a faster charging speed now. Since uh, Amy joined me here after work, I thought I'd test the adapter in our old Nissan Leaf. Plug in the CCS adapter. Too much strain on it. Make sure it's nice and straight. And it works. Charging pretty slowly, but then that's what Nissan Leafs do. But that's not no fault of the, of the adapter. Cool. Happy days. Right, another charge point test. This is a Raption 50 uh, Osprey unit. And as you can see, we are charging. Happy days. It's really cool. This has been a 100% success rate so far. All the units have tried. The one I'm most excited to try it on will be a Tesla supercharger um, because you know, they are set of superchargers everywhere now across across Europe. And now that they're open to all EVs, all EVs with, with CCS, you should be able to use them, which would be really cool. You know, when I got the van uh, six, six years ago now, never thought that we'd be able to use Tesla superchargers. I remember in the early days uh, when we had 24 kilowatt battery in here, um, crossing the middle of Spain in winter, and they were like, it's so uh, demoralizing to be driving past a supercharger and able to charge when you desperately need somewhere to charge. I think once we had to use a, like a, a, a random domestic socket that we used, what we found in a garage forecourt, um, we, we did ask permission and stay there overnight to get enough charge to continue our journey. We, and we were right next to a Tesla supercharger. We could, we could see it. Um, so it's so frustrating to have that like, you, you know, high power DC, rapid charge capability there but not be able to use it so it's really cool now if we are um, able to use it um, that would be awesome like in the UK it's not too bad the Chadamo provision is still uh, you know still still pretty good on the whole um, although on occasion it would have been you know handy to be able to use CCS because often there's only a handful of Chadamo stations now but definitely in Europe there are more and more stations which are CCS only it's not been a problem for us for us yet, uh, but you know, it'll just make things that little bit easier and uh, also uh, future proof, future proof the van. Okay, this is the big one. This is the one I really wanted to test. And we have the Nia V200 charging from a Tesla supercharger. 
How amazing is that? Never thought when we got this van six years ago, we'd be charging here at a supercharger. That's awesome. It's so crazy to see our little van charging here at a supercharger. This will definitely be pretty useful on road trips. They're also very well priced with a subscription. I think they're about like 30, 35 pence or something, which is way cheaper than other networks. So that in itself should uh, contribute towards the cost of the, well, the very significant cost of the, uh, of the adapter.